one out of four high school seniors in Dallas County complete a two or four year degree. 99% of the new jobs require college. You have an opportunity to obtain a college education with somebody else paying for it. You can almost be anything you want to be. I am convinced that there's a lot of people out there doing God's work, but it's, it's just, it's, we don't need a thousand points of light. We need like a big shock and awe, you know, focus light. And I think businesses tapping in to, to uh, proven programs like this is what we need. The reason that we decided to try and take this effort on is that we looked at some troubling statistics. It said that today, in today's economy, we need to have 60 to 65% of our kids getting some type of post-secondary education, a two-year degree, a four-year degree, a technical certificate. And with our own pipeline, our own 15 school districts, that number, we're only at 27%. And that number has been going down, not up. 150 million people work in America, 120, 130 million work for private enterprise. There are six million open jobs today, and a lot of those open jobs would pay 15, 20, 25 dollars an hour. And it just takes the training. And the training is really the companies here. You need welding, you need, you need nursing, you need coding, you need uh, financial skills or sales skills. And, and you go to these schools that are successful, these kids, they're graduating high school, going to community college, and they're getting a job making 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a year with medical. And you talk to these kids, they, a lot of them say they never thought they could take care of their parents. There, were all, there was always the means of students to attend school for free, but they had a hope deficit. They had an expectation deficit. No one had connected the dots. So I think the Dallas Promise is amazing, but I think the genius of it is, it's now turning its attention to the hope gap and making sure people understand that culturally this is a necessity. We have educational leaders who really do the opposite of hoarding. We, they, they deliberately engage uh, and share with each other uh, uh, so that we can make life better for our community, for our employers, and improve the quality of life for everyone in all of Dallas County. As a teacher, I am just so excited to celebrate today something that is so amazing, something, you know, courageous, something that's going to change Dallas, the state of Texas, and maybe even the world, and that thing is all of you. You're our future doctors, tech innovators, city planners, and law enforcement. Because you've worked hard and you've made the choice to keep going on your education, you, you could save lives. You will rethink how we connect with one another, and you, you will make our lives better.